Over the last 12 months or so, we're finally seeing some excitement injected into the subcompact class of cars. New models from Mazda with the Mazda 2, the Fiesta from Ford, we have the new Hyundai Accent, and the Rio from Kia. Now, one of the granddaddies of the subcompact class has been the Echo, then named Yaris, and here is the brand new model. For many years, subcompact cars were looked at as basic transportation for people who live in urban areas. Now there's some fun in this class, and the Yaris is following suit. It's lower and wider, looks more aggressive. It's a good-looking little car, but is there substance behind these good looks? The new Yaris is slightly bigger, the wheelbase is longer, that affords more legroom front and back. It's not a big increase, but at least there has been an increase. The biggest change to the interior is the removal of the center cluster in the middle of the dash and putting it where it should be, behind the steering wheel. It's a traditional layout and it's been working for decades. Why they fought that, I'm not really sure. Soft touch application, just in the front of the dash here, you see it in gray, it also comes in black and there's a little bit on the doors as well. With this vehicle, you have to applaud Toyota for including Bluetooth technology, a USB and an auxiliary jack as standard equipment, even on the base model. But when you look at this dash, it's very simple. It's clean and simple, but it doesn't compete with some of the hot new entries. The Fiesta has all soft touch materials. The Fiat 500 is beautiful on the inside, and the new Korean products probably are top of class. This one is an improvement, but it's kind of middle of the road. We're here in Quebec for the very reason that, you know, the 53% of our sales of Yaris happen here in the province. Here, people are looking for a good basic car. It doesn't cost much to, to buy, doesn't cost much to operate or to maintain, and, um, and has high resale value. So Yaris has scored on all of those points over the years. But the latest model comes with, uh, you know, uh, a bigger body, sharper styling, better fuel economy, and a lower MSRP, so it, uh, you know, we think it's, it's pushed the envelope in all the directions that, uh, that our Quebec consumers are most interested in. But at the same time, as you get in and drive the car a little bit, you'll discover you know, a more spirited performance in the vehicle as well. So it's, uh, it, it's, it's taken it to the next step, and we think that, uh, that that's, a, that's a good news story, not only for consumers here in Quebec, but all across the country. This car really is perfect for somebody that lives in an urban center that needs a little runabout. And this vehicle appeals to somebody as a good all-rounder, as an entry-level car, or as a second car for your family. Great turning radius, the best in its class. It's nimble. It's actually fun to drive. It's smoother and quieter than the older model. A couple of things they need to figure out, though, is competing with cars like the Accent and the Kia Rio, the Fiesta, as I mentioned. you got to add some luxury features in this car, like uh, you know, remote control key fobs, unlock the doors, heated seats are not available. And that really is a minus, because if you've ever had a car with heated seats, you always want a car with heated seats. Just a niggly thing, but something that should be brought up. This is a very competitive class in the marketplace because the people that are looking for a subcompact car, they're looking for value. They want to get the most for their money. They're buying the least expensive cars sold in the country and they want to get as much as they can out of them. So what they do is they look at all the specs online or the brochures and they see, I'm going to spend fourteen, fifteen, sixteen thousand dollars $16,000. What's in the car? And when you look on paper, this Yaris falls a little flat, especially from those hot new competitors from Korea, the Rio and also the Accent. But what Toyota knows it has going for it is reliability, dependability, and a known resale. It's like the bank of Toyota. You put your money into the bank of Toyota when you go to sell your car, you know you're going to get good resale for it. That's what they have going for them. Is that going to carry this car in the long run? Time will tell. We do have a question though. Is it Yaris or Yaris? And what was wrong with Echo? See all our reviews of the latest Toyota products. They're available 24-7 at drivingtelevision.com.